Alright guys, I recently started a new video series. You can't be autistic because, and this series talks about all of the uh, silly reasons that autistic people hear uh, when you know they come out and they say, hey, I'm autistic, someone will respond to them, you can't be autistic because, dot, dot, dot. Hmm, so this, you guys have been sharing some of your comments with me and one of them uh, just kind of stood out. Uh, and so if you have uh, comments, or reasons people have told you that you can't be autistic, go ahead and put those in the comments below. I will be uh, reading those and maybe I will pick some and do some that are common with you guys on future videos. Uh, but this one was just kind of silly and I thought it'd be really quick, easy uh, one to chat about. And so this week's You Can't Be Autistic video uh, is because you wear makeup. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. I almost could just like sit here and not say anything with my makeup on and just... Anyway, okay, we're gonna talk about this one seriously. Sorry guys. Uh, so, there are a few reasons that people would say that they think autistic people don't wear makeup. I'm just gonna start with one that might be a practical explanation. Uh, sensory issues. Makeup can be really uncomfortable for people who have sensitive skin and skin sensory issues. I personally have very sensitive skin and my skin is prone to breaking out and my skin is just very tender and delicate and soft. And I use like, um, like organic, uh, natural powder makeup. I have like a lightweight powder foundation. It's Physicians Formula. Uh, it doesn't irritate my skin. It's taken me a while to find the products that really work for me, but I do wear makeup. I have been wearing makeup, I think I discovered the power of eyeliner at a very young age, and it's like, I, it's fun to me. It's theatrical. I started you know, actually no, I started wearing makeup in elementary school, but it was like eyeliner on my cheeks to draw cat whiskers and cat nose. And then eventually it was face paints and I would like paint these like elaborate masks on my face and just like, when I became older, it was socially acceptable to paint yourself with makeup. People would ridicule you if you went to school with face paint. And I don't think your teachers would actually let you go to school with face paint. I would have tried. I probably would have tried if I could have gotten away with it. Um, but for me, you know, makeup is like a fun, artistic thing that I enjoy doing. I know lots of autistic people who wear makeup. Um, yes, autistic people can wear makeup. Uh, someone has also said that autistic people lack the social awareness to put on makeup and I'm just not even gonna touch that one like oh no yes autistic people can wear makeup I I enjoy makeup and it was actually and again something I was really really interested in uh, in my teens because it was just fun I had all these fun colors and I was really goth for a while I was like a goth kid so I wore black lipstick and black nail polish and lots of thick eyeliner um, and had bright wild colors in my hair and I also my mom is a hairstylist so I also grew up in hair salon so I was exposed uh, to makeup that way uh, so I was exposed to makeup and I've been around makeup pretty much my entire life and so I am an autistic person who wears and enjoys makeup uh, so we're out there we exist uh, I could think of a few others off the top of my head uh, shout out to the audience who wear makeup if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, give me a comment, do you wear makeup? I know some of you said you cannot stand makeup for sensory issues, so let's also say there are audies out there who don't and cannot wear makeup, but there are audies who do, just like, just like neurotypicals. <laughs> anyway guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, I will do another one like it in the future, and uh, I will talk to you guys next week.